Moron, You're not tied up hey. to it. I wouldn't touch me if I were you, buddy. You're a fucking moron. You're a fucking moron. No, I'm parking here. I live here. Well, get out. No, you don't I, have a car pass. I do, and it's not your business. I live here. And I have a bunch of returns too. I have a bag over there. It's sitting over there. I need you to go get it and have them return it to me. There's a bunch of them I don't like from last year. And when do your candles go on sale? They haven't gone on sale for a while. I don't know right now. You don't know? Okay, yes. well, I need you to find out because I want you, I'm want i going to give you my number and I want you to call me. I want to be the first one here. Okay? We can do that. Okay, well, you will today. I'm placing you under citizen's arrest. For what? For parking too close to my car. Oh, wow. Yeah, just move it. Oh, no, you no, no, princess. Stop filming it! You don't see this a lot, an angry confrontation between, of all people, a doctor and his patient. Go to the ER and wait for nine hours. Okay, you can get out of her out of my office. I will now. Help. Jessica Stipe was suffering from a severe case of the flu and waited one hour and 15 minutes as her symptoms grew worse. I made an appointment at 6 30 because I knew that being out of my bed an hour and, and 45 minutes. We've already been working on you. We've you done a you. urine test on you. I've Nobody's, seen you. You came in and said I'm gonna check your pee. I Does that take three pee. seconds, you think? I don't know how long. Do it's you been. wanna be seen or not? I wanna go home and get in my bed. I Then fine, get the hell out. Get your money and get the hell out. I did. But that See you right later. Is I'm livid. I'm livid. And it's not even, you know, it's the way he spoke to us. That was completely unethical and uncalled for. Jessica's 16 year old daughter, Courtney, recorded the drama at an after hours Go medical ER clinic in Gainesville, Florida. You can get out of her out of my office. I will now. Buy a complaint with a better business. Mom, I got it on video, so it doesn't matter. And then, Go. And my What's your daughter? This. My What's your name? The doctor grabs the phone right out of the daughter's hand. Give me my phone. I told him my daughter's a minor and I'm calling the police. I did dial 911 at that time and he stopped my daughter's recording and threw her phone back down the hallway and cracked her screen. We do have these witness statements that I know you know about from people who are also there in the doctor's office. They're saying that uh, you were using profanity, not speaking nice to the doctors, threatening the staff. None of that is true. Um, like I said, the video is the only real altercation that ever transpired. Dr. Peter Gallagly says the patient was belligerent and abusive to the office staff. Still, he apologized, saying in a statement, I regret losing my temper and speaking to the two women in a manner that is not befitting a medical doctor. We showed the video to ER doctor Jake Deutsch. I think that that goes beyond what is considered acceptable in all standards. Um, certainly losing your temper is one thing, but using profanity and then having an altercation by hitting the phone just shows a total lack of control. I then fine, get the hell out. Get your money and get the hell out. I got to play. You're going to be in real trouble. You're sitting in the car. I need to park here. Uh, no, I'm parking here. I live here. Well, get out. I do. And it's not your business. I live here. You're here a lot, and I see you. You don't live here. And even so, I need to park here. That's not how it works. You are a disgusting 
piece of crap. Your mother. In your mix, but you were raised by a carrot. These posts aren't yours, dude. They're my fence. That post is, that post is not your post. Bullshit. Bullshit. You want to bet on that? What the fuck? Are you crazy? You must be smoking that crap, dog. Because this all belongs to me, dog. No, it don't. Yes, it does. No, it don't. Yes, it does. It does yes, not. it does, bro. It Look at this. Not. Look at this. This fence here is mine. Look where the line is, my friend. No. You can see it. It's not tied up to it. You're not tied up hey. to it. I wouldn't touch me if I were you, buddy. You're a fucking moron. You're a fucking moron. You should go get a survey if you think it's your fucking pet. You should go get a survey. No, no, it's my fucking pet. It's not your part two of crazy mix male Karen neighbor. Is it? Is it attached? Is it attached? This is my fucking Where's it attached? Post? Where's it attached? You added this fence and all that post yourself. No, after this was put in. This was holding this fence up. It's been holding it up for years. So is this man. one? No. Yes, it has. No, it has this not. This fence has been here forever. No, it has dude. not. Ask my father because oh he's God. been here forever, dog. You are fucking stone You're crazy. A, oh yeah, I'm a stone crazy. Right, you are fucking. Crazy. Right, cokehead? Yeah, right? right? Right, what are you gonna do? What, what are you gonna do? Oh, dude, look at this! Well, I gotta keep my dogs contained since you wanna fucking let them run free. That's not what I wanna do with your dogs. That trash, you know that shit's gonna come back in my garage, you fucking asshole. Well, you know what? I'm putting a new fence post in there. Go fucking I'm right ahead. And then no one there. Go get a and no. Go get a goddamn... go get a survey first. No, I don't. I the fuck you don't. Yes, you fucking, fucking do. That then post. that post will be on that side of that post. Good. Yeah. See. I Can you leave it up?